This is my fruit and vegetable alarm clock. It helps me wake up. And I'm gonna show you how to make one on your own. Let me show you how to make your own alarm clock. Let's go. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hi guys, so today we're gonna be using 10 different vegetables or fruits and we're gonna see if they can power this alarm clock. So we have potatoes, apples, avocados, tomatoes, mangoes, lemons, bananas, strawberries, grapes, and watermelons. First, we're gonna try the classic potato. It was made for potato, so I think it's gonna work. Three, two, one. Oh. So if you notice here, look at the alarm clock. Does, is it working yet? Not yet. We got this kit online, so it comes with a magnesium wire and a copper wire. You have to connect this too. It, this? Uh-huh. Hi. Yeah. And here. All right, you tell me, is the alarm clock working? Look, it's working! Yeah, it turns on. It's got enough energy. <laughs> yeah, so we have to manually set it, but you know, there it is. A potato me. works! I'm gonna use a potato for my alarm clock tonight. Okay, now let's try the next one. Next, I'm gonna test out the apple. And do the opposite on the other one. Yeah, so like... Up there you here. go. Moment of truth. Does it work? It works! Yay, so an apple can also power it on. Ooh. You know it's true because look what happened when I take out one, okay? If I take out one, it stopped working. But if I plug it back in, Whoa. it works. I'm really interested for this one. The avocado? Yeah. Guys, let us know if you think avocado <laughs> can power on the alarm clock. No. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Oh, I think it's gonna work. You think so? Yeah. You guys notice right now, nothing's on, right? So it doesn't work right now. So Ryan's gonna put it in. Can you use an avocado alarm clock tonight? Wait, did it mess up? I don't know. What? I'm supposed to put this. No, that's right. Yeah, it's supposed to be opposite. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You need that to complete a circuit. Does it work? <gasps> avocado oh. work! Whoa! Now the most interesting one is watermelon. That's true. That one we're not sure. Also tomato. Well, no, I think tomato will work. Tomato will work? Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna try tomatoes. They're really messy. Don't poke it too hard. I don't know. Pop. And like this. Does it work? It works! It does work, wow! Maybe we do need just fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Power our alarm clocks. <laughs> You think fruits and vegetables can power on your iPad? Oh. That's a fun experiment to do later. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now let's try mango. Oof. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's bending the wire. Here. And then one. Yeah, so you need the other part to make like a circle, you know, to complete the circuit. That's why you need it. Actually, the potato clock works by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. Did you know that the energy doesn't actually come from the potato? But rather, the energy comes from the metal dissolving inside the potato. The energy made from the reaction moves to the copper strip, down the wire, and into the clock, making the clock turn on. That's spectacular! <laughs> there you go. Yeah! Wow, everything worked so far, look! Yeah. Which one do you want to try next? I want to try the... banana. The banana, wow, that's, that's interesting. Banana. I think it'll work. You think so? I think cast energy. <laughs> <laughs> now let's try banana. I'll try it like this. Okay. <laughs> so it's easier to do positives and negatives. Well, I'll put it here. Yeah, put it anywhere you like. Well? It's only a different time, but yeah. Oh, it does work! Yay! You can have a banana clock! Oh, <laughs> now let's try. <laughs> what do you think, Ryan? The lemon's gonna work? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, it's gonna work. It's hard to poke in. And it has a smell. <laughs> See, right now it is not on, you guys. Three, two, one. 
What do you think it's gonna do, work or not? Definitely work. I don't even have to poke it in. What? That's crazy. So I guess you don't really need a lot of power. So, so far, everything works so far. Oh. Which one do you wanna try next? These oh, three, I'm very interested. Yeah, I'm gonna try this one. The strawberry? The strawberry. You barely have to poke this in to poke it in. I'm gonna see if we can do the same thing we did with the lemon. Oh, good idea. Look, look yeah. at it. Wow, very cool. Which one do you wanna do on here? Grapes or watermelon? Watermelon. Okay, cause grapes, it's so small. I know. Is it gonna work because it's so tiny? You think watermelon's gonna work? I Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's so easy to poke in. What? Is it working? <laughs> what? Guys, I didn't even need to complete the circuit. It just powers on with two. Wow, I didn't know watermelon's so powerful. Well, hello. <laughs> but this makes it a lot more powerful. So it does work. Oh, yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> now let's try the last one in the most. Wait, how is this gonna work? I don't know, it's so small. How are we gonna make it opposite and positive? You have to stick them very gently. <laughs> Can you do it? Yeah, I did one. Now I do the other one. Okay, so far it's not working. Let's see. What? <laughs> Grapes can power on a clock. Look at that, you guys. Just two grapes. <laughs> That's it. That's all we need. Two grapes. Don't need a whole potato. You just need two grapes. Well, what if you just try one of them? Yeah. With all of them. It's working. <laughs> yeah, all you need is one fruit. Ah, one grape it is. It does work. Look. Just one, two. We don't even need to complete the circuit. It's so powerful. <laughs> this is the most powerful. Yeah, I think all you need is one, Ryan. I like this. So Ryan's trying out different ones. So one tomato and one lemon. It works. Woohoo! Okay, guys, I'm gonna take my alarm clock to bed. Let's go. Bye, guys. I'm gonna go to bed now. And that's how you make a fruit and vegetable alarm clock. Bye. Ooh.